corals are the literal and figurative backbone of one of Earth's most diverse ecosystems. But they now face changing conditions that may soon outstrip their ability to adapt and survive. This is Mike Fitz with explore.org, and here are the Fitz facts about coral reefs and climate change. Corals are colonial organisms related to sea anemones and jellyfish. They are composed of tiny polyps, each only a few millimeters in diameter. Some species of corals live as deep as 3,000 meters below the ocean surface. But it is the stony corals, living in relatively shallow water, that build reefs by secreting a calcium carbonate skeleton beneath their soft bodies. Reef building corals are dependent on a partner to make a living. In a classic example of a symbiotic relationship, shallow water corals host algae within their polyps. Corals supply algae with space to live and nutrients in exchange for some of the algae's sugar and amino acids. Coral reefs help sustain fisheries, tourism, and global biodiversity. They are home to over 25% of all marine fish, while occupying less than 1% of the ocean floor. Incredibly, Reef-building corals lay the foundation for an ecosystem that sustains at least one million species. Overfishing, invasive species, pollution, and damage from boat anchors have degraded many coral reefs. But now, climate change threatens these ecosystems on a worldwide scale. Even the most well-protected reefs will suffer under its influence. Climate change impacts coral reefs in many ways. Increased erosion from sea level rise carries sediments into the ocean which can smother coral living near the shore. Stronger and more frequent storms destroy coral formations. Altered ocean currents change where coral larvae disperse. When the ocean absorbs excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, the water becomes more acidic weakening a coral skeleton's structural integrity and reducing the availability of calcium in the water for corals to build their skeletons. Perhaps the most intense and sudden of climate change's impacts on coral is a process known as coral bleaching. Corals expel their symbiotic algae when they are stressed by extreme temperatures or pollution. The process leaves them ghostly white. Without their algal partners, Corals grow slower, lose their major source of food, become more susceptible to disease, and have a harder time competing with other bottom-dwelling organisms. If they cannot regain their algal partners, they will die. As oceans become warmer and more acidic, corals are increasingly stressed. Ocean conditions within this century may reach a point beyond which corals cannot recover. Solving the climate crisis won't be easy, but if we act now, we can save one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth. Let's work together to ensure that future generations live in a world with healthy, diverse coral reefs. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. This is Mike Fitz with explore.org. Never stop learning.